Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together this modified electric starter motor. Now we've got the end cap here which has been modified so that we actually have a, a, a separate negative terminal that is isolated from the chassis. Normally on electric starter motors the chassis acts as your the chassis acts as your negative but I wanted to have the negative isolated from the chassis because there's a couple of benefits. One of the benefits is that by having a separate negative terminal which is isolated from the chassis it means that when we apply current to it we can make a turn in a normal direction but if we want to reverse the direction uh, um, we can just change the polarity of the battery to the terminals so so that way we can we can run it in reverse noting this is a permanent magnet DC electric motor we can we can do that quite easily what I've also done is I've taken one of the screws out here because it was in the way of this wire so this wire was getting pinched and I thought it was better if we take the screw out because there wasn't enough room so I've done that and I've made sure this one is tight and it seems that this holder is fairly much in place so I'm not going to worry too much about it this is only a prototype so yeah we've got the casing here as mentioned before it's got permanent magnets in there and we've got the armature and we've got some end plate of the casing and the bolts that hold the whole motor together. So I'm going to start putting it together now. So just going to quickly put the brushes into place, noting that the springs are very strong and they've, or well, they're relatively strong and they're putting a bit of a load on there. I do have safety glasses on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the armature on like so just going to check that nothing's rubbing against anything that shouldn't be rubbing so all and I'll check that the brushes are making contact with the commutator which they are feed in any wires that need to be fed in push them down looking good. Now I'm going to make sure I hold the end cap and the armature and then I'm going to insert it into the into the motor casing. Now it's going to it's going to go in with a bit of with a bit of uh, force because the magnet's going to attract it or suck it into it. So we've got to watch our fingers a bit. Okay, I think I got that in. Put the pl end plate on.
I've got a line up where the bolt's going to go through. I think I've got it. I'll just tighten it up now. I'm going to test the mo test the motor. So go get the batteries. I'm going to get the battery sorted. If it goes in one direction first, yes, it did. Now I'm going to swap the polarity of the battery going to the terminals, and let's see if it goes in the other direction. You can see that rotated in that direction. Now I'm going to swap them again. And it rotated in the other direction when I swap the polarity. So that bit of the modification works. The next step, which will be in a future video, is putting the sprocket, the engine sprocket, onto onto the motor. And what I've got to do is I've got to do it in such a way that the sprocket doesn't fly out or throw out, as what normally happens in the pinion gear of a starter motor. So that's going to be another modification process where I've got to attach the sprocket and make it rotate in sync with the shaft of the motor and also make it that it doesn't throw out like so but that's going to be in a future video